Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the fourth lesson of Unit 9. Uh, before we move forward, I'm going to show you guys the five lessons or the five things that we are allowed to use when we're proving two triangles are equal to each other. First lesson, we learned about side, side, side. Second, we learned about side, angle, side. Last lesson, we learned about angle, side, angle. So far, that's the three um, methods that we learned. Today, we're going to learn something about angle, angle, side. And next lesson, we're going to learn about high leg. Those are the only five we are allowed to use. Some people are being very smart and using other methods on the homework, okay? If your five, if your method doesn't belong in here, then you cannot use it. Some people are saying, oh, Ms. Aang, you know, I figured there we could use, you see, I have two sides and an angle. Uh-uh, there's no mm in math, okay? If you have this on your paper, I'm going to take off 20 points. Can't, can't write that, all right? Can't. Just a little heads up. Okay. Now, let's go back to today's um, lesson. Today we're learning angle, angle, side. So, like what we've been talking about, I really don't want to go into it anymore because I'm really getting tired of it. You have to go in order. Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. Remember to look at corresponding angles. So let's look at how angle, angle, side are actually being used in today's lesson. So quickly, let's go to number one. Number one, I have this marked, this marked, so I have one angle that's equal to each other, and then I have a side right here, the side is right here. I'm trying to prove these two triangles are congruent by angle, angle, side, all right? Now, I could say that these two triangles are congruent in so many ways. I could say these two tri these two angles are equal to each other. So again, I'm going to name them A, B, C, D, E. These two angles are equal to each other. Angle A, C, B is congruent to angle D, C, E. You see, Ms. Zane even had to think about it because I have to name the in the correct way. These two uh, angles are equal to each other because of vertical angles. Now, I could say, I could conclude from here, after I have these two angles equal to each other, that these two triangles, so triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC. D E C because of angle angle side. You see how I name them in order? Because angle A correspond with angle D. Angle B correspond with angle E and angle C correspond with angle C. So when I name triangle A B C, I have to name it the correct way which is D E C. All right, just a little heads up on that. Let's quickly move on to the second one. I need to prove that these two triangles are equal to each other. Ugh. Or, you know, if they are. So let's name it. A, B, C, uh, D, E, F. So far, it's given to us that A, C, I'm going to write it here. Line segment AC is equal to line segment DF. It's the given. And they tell me that line segment or side AB is equal to or congruent to line segment DE. Because it's the given. They're given to us. 
How do I prove these two triangles are equal to each other? Well, Ms. Zane, this is so easy. We learn about psi, psi, psi. So I'm going to say that line segment BC is going to be equal to line segment FE because tada, it would be psi, psi, psi. I mean, who told you that BC is equal to D, uh, FE? Just because they look alike, it doesn't mean that they're actually congruent to each other. You get what I mean? All right, Ms. Zane. Then angle A is equal to angle D because, you know, they're right angles. Did they tell you that they're right angles? They didn't tell you they are. So how do you know? Maybe they're not right angles. So you can't, you can't conclude that. They didn't actually, they didn't give you anything else that you could conclude from. People gonna say that, Ms. Zane, they didn't tell me that these two angles are equal to each other, but you said it, we could conclude it from. Well, yeah, because they are vertical angles. Any angles intersect over here? They didn't, right? Any other information that they give you? Eh, not really. Anything that tells me other stuff? No, not really. They didn't tell me anything else. You only have two sides. One pair of sides, one pair of sides. You cannot use any other information. So that means you cannot conclude that these two triangles are congruent. You just don't have enough information. Don't have enough info. You don't. So you can't say anything. All right? Now, that was a tricky one, right? I, I put it in there to, to set you guys up. Hopefully, you learned a little bit something, all right? You cannot assume something it's imaginary, all right? That, that works in real life too. So don't overthink. Only use what life gives you. Anyway, next, this question's a little bit different because they give me that these two triangles are equal to each other by angle, angle side. So far, I only see one pair of sides. That is angle EDC congruent to angle TDC. This is the given. They've given it to us. Okay, so I'm going to mark it right here. All right. They didn't give me anything else. I'm actually getting really tired from talking because I just want you guys to see something that we've been trying to use very long time. I'm going to tell you that something is equal to something because of reflexive. A segment is equal to itself. The only side that's being shared by these two triangles is the side DC, congruent to side. DC. Even though they didn't, it's not the given, you could conclude from it. You see how this is where it's really have to, you really have to think about it when you're looking at it. Now, I want to use this by angle, angle side. I got the side down. I have one angle. I am missing a angle. People are gonna say, oh, Ms. A. You see, what about these two angles? If I set these two angles, if I, you know, assume it, then maybe it's true. If you assume these two angles are equal to each other, it's going to be angle, side, angle. You're going to prove that these two triangles are equal to each other by angle, side, angle. We're trying to prove by angle, angle, side. So you're going the wrong direction. That means in order to prove its angle, angle side, you have to say that angle T is equal to angle E because angle, angle, side. Not bad, right? So that means angle T equal to angle E. You have to say that these two are equal to each other. This is the missing information that we need in order to prove that triangle uh let's t d c is congruent to triangle e d c you would need this information to prove that it's angle 
angle side because we have an angle here. We have a side here. This is the missing angle we need. All right. Again, if if you don't like this format, you could just draw the lines to make it into two column um, proof. Okay. Hopefully this video helps with angle angle side. I'll see you guys in the next video.